Hey, DVR Tech here with a bit of a fun experiment for a Sunday. We're going to try out a Tesla P40 GPU accelerator. We're going to go ahead and fire this up on Azure, where they've recently added both the P40 and the P100. The P40 costs $60 a day for one P40, so it's not exactly cheap, and the performance is going to have to be amazing for this to actually make sense as a potential mining solution. So let's go ahead and fire up this VM. We need to get the GPU driver installed first. It doesn't preload up with the P40 driver in the image. Now that I've super sped up that video for you, let's look at XMR stock and see what the mining performance of this unit is. I just copied this over from my desktop, so we're gonna have to clear out some AMD files. And it looks like we need to install the uh, Visual Studio runtime to be able to run this. So let's go ahead and we'll pull that up on the internet real quick and download that. Um, we'll need the 64-bit version of that. Go ahead and run the installer. And with that done, we should be able to fire up XMR stock uh, once again. So let's go ahead and launch that executable. We're gonna ignore these uh, memory allocation errors because that really has to do with CPU mining more than it has to do with GPU mining. And we're just waiting now for it to uh, execute the code and uh, compile that for our GPU. Here we go. I'll just give it a second here to go ahead and submit a few shares so that we can pull a hash rate. As we can see, it's really not doing well on the GPU side. We should start to see some numbers coming in. And I think the default settings that XMR stock chose are just not compatible with this GPU and that's a large part of it. It's just sporadically mining. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that and then we'll relaunch it again and see what the performance looks like. Now we've done some tweaking and we can see our hash rate is around 869 on the GPU. Our total hash with the uh, CPUs included, just below that. We're seeing a total hash rate of just under 1300. Unfortunately, this nowhere near justifies the cost of this uh, virtual machine up in Azure Let's go ahead and take a look at what ET hash looks like on this card. So we'll fire up our Pearl miner real quick with uh, Claymore. We can see it's detected properly. Once again, we're compiling for the card and uh, we're loading the DAG up into memory. And here we can see we're getting a hash rate right around 26, 27 uh, mega hash a second. So really not that great, about the same as an RX 580 or a 1070 NVIDIA card. So let's go ahead and move on over and take a look at what Zcash looks like. So here we are, we're launching. And once again, it's loading up and compiling for the card. Here we can see 
we're getting just under 400 souls. So this puts us right around a 1070, uh, not quite a 1070, maybe even you know, closer to the 1060 level. It was a fun experiment. Don't forget to like and subscribe below and uh, comment with any questions you have. Thanks.